because motion blur can make stuff look good, but most of the time it actually takes up frames. Uh, sorry for the low frame count. Hello everybody, Gecko 1000 here back for another video. Today's video we're gonna be playing Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. The huh. HD renovation. Now I've played a bit of this Weird. in the uh free version, but I just wanted the yeah, DLC and delay. Uh, when it inevitably releases. Okay, I think I should turn up the desktop audio for you guys. Can you hear that a bit better now? Yeah, now you, I'm now it's showing that you can hear the rain. Okay, now which door should I go through? Left or right? Or was there one down there? I don't know. Well, I can't jump, so I'm not jumping down there. So let's go through this. Let's go through door number one. But I can sprint, that's all I know. Which is perfect for a horror game, being able to run. It might just be my computer, but uh, running in this game just seems so slow. And I hate the Resident Evil door opening animation that plays every time. And this FOV is actual trash. I'm gonna put it on, uh, I'm gonna put it on what would be considered in Minecraft as Quake Pro mode. Oh bloody. Okay, I'm gonna put the FOV a bit below. Yeah, the first part of this video is just gonna be me tinkering around with the settings, getting it working. Yeah, significantly better. You know, mainly because I just like seeing stuff. I feel so wrong to not be able to just bunny hop since I'm so used to playing Source games now. And this just has like that Source game feel. Locked. And for once it explains how, uh, or why I can't go through the door. Oh, what? Was this entire area a dead end? Okay, I thought I had to go back to room zero just so I could play the game. You know, Spooky trying to play a little joke on me. Oh, wait, no. Uh, at first this place just seemed cute, but I've been here for days now. I keep feeling... I fe I'm feeling quite parched now, and I... And I'm going... And I'm getting this feeling that I am being watched by something. This is not romantic at all. Why would you think it would be romantic in the first place? You went to a scary mansion on the top of a hill. I'm sad there isn't something watching me from out there. You know, just reply into that fact that, oh hey, there's stuff. I, th I thought I saw a silhouette on top of that hill. But I might just be paranoid. Probably that last part. Hmm, let's appreciate art. That's smoke, but sort of looks like it has a face. I do not like scary noises in this game. So, let's see. Door number two, I guess. Because right is always right and left is always left. There's not going to be that much commentary other than me being scared. You know, I'm surprised I haven't seen uh, my favorite specimen yet. The cardboard cutouts. Oh wait, spoilers. <laughs> oh. Message. I know something is following me. I feel like I'm prancing through the same rooms over and over. Hopefully leaving notes as breadcrumbs. Will I 
will prove I'm making progress and reaching some destination. I just hope I don't run out of ink. I am dreadfully thirsty. Now as I've played this before, I know what uh I know what happens. I don't like that ominous sounds they're playing. Oh hey. Uh ink. Not quite uh he drank the ink. Not quite quenching my thirst. Taste is terrible. Stains are terrible. I don't think drinking it was a very romantic idea. Okay, I'm convinced this guy's just a moron. Rivaling Wheatley with the moronic scale. I'm sorry for not having that much commentary and my microphone being a bit quiet. For some reason it's been a bit quiet. And that's a skull. Just had to check behind me to make sure nothing was following me. You know, irrational fears. Ugh, I don't like the ominous sounds they're playing. This game doesn't have that much of a soundtrack, it's just ominous sounds in the occasional I found something today to satisfy my unromantic thirst. I awoke today from a brief faint and found a bottle and found before me a bottle of red wine. I'm not sure what brand or year, for there is no label. All I gather is that it tastes strongly metallic. Well, there's only one red liquid I know that tastes strongly metallic, and that is blood. He drank blood. And how? And now he's gonna turn into a vampire. Not actually, though. He doesn't turn into a vampire. Just something worse. I don't like the fact these walls are getting very close together. Cheese. See, there are the cardboard cutouts. Something had to scare me before the first real threat. Huh. Now I'm surprised the cardboard cutout didn't pop up. Cardboard cutout, maybe? I know, I'm not going right. I am. I am committing all of the bad things. And this is just the same base format of, yeah. Oh yeah, and I read the uh, controls a bit earlier, and uh, I don't like the fact jeez. I don't like the fact that I uh, said I get a weapon. Huh. Ominous music is playing, that's never a good sign. Especially in horror games. cage and some mystery bones, probably legs. Any new notes from our fellow explorer of this mansion? So all we gotta do is make it to the thousandth floor. And every 50 rooms there's a save point, so we're going to get to a save point relatively soon. But not after encountering our first real monster. Or maybe not. Who knows? There are only two more rooms and this is the second to last one. And I doubt we're just going to be chased for an individual room. See? Is there even going to be a cardboard cutout? No! And as I said, save room! Yay, we saved. Okay, this part's gonna be fun in editing, since there are a bunch of arcade games that I'm about to play. You can do it, we can help. Papa John's. Yeah, that's not at all ominous. 
I don't like the Resident Evil door opening animation there. Or there are not going to be arcade cabinets. Jeez. I think it's just the atmosphere and tension getting to my head. Wait, I didn't turn off specimens, did I? Let's just check the options. Uh, general. I'm even surprised there's an option to turn off the specimens, which are, uh, the monsters. Which, uh, the spec- which the cardboard cutouts are also specimens, which it would be funny if just every time you would encounter a specimen, it just replaced it with the cardboard cutout. And I'll be trying to make it through, like, uh, 100 rooms every video. Yeah. Oh, hey, look at that. I don't think that was wine. Yeah, like I said, blood. And we didn't even encounter a monster. That's confusing me. Because normally right before that we're supposed to encounter the ink monster. I don't like that wag spike. Wag spikes in horror game. Oh wait, it's this type of room. Okay, so our first actual uh, encounter with the specimen is gonna be pretty soon. Because this type of room. Eh. This was such a surprise that there would be another entry. Another actual entry. One I could admire. But then, as suddenly as it came, it left. And now you disband. Your influence and inspiration will, will never leave me. And now there's gonna be a monster in one of these. Yeah, just the same note. Yeah, I don't like the ominous noise. Ah, Jesus! And... How many more of those things are we gonna encounter? Or are we just gonna have to go back? I'm starting to think maybe this is endless and we have to go back. But I'm, uh, hopeful. Yeah, let's go back. Oh, see, look at that. I don't like this anymore. Locked. I want you to guess this one's gonna be locked. So the only thing we're gonna encounter here is the thing that just scares us. Are we gonna encounter it again since I heard the same sh that I heard a bit earlier when we encountered it? Okay, I'm most likely just gonna cut this part out. Oh, finally! We did it! Oh, n oh no. Uh, so, oh, sh I didn't realize that's how it appeared. In the original game, it just, it doesn't pop out from under the floor. What it does is that it, uh, is, jeez, not the time to be, uh, pointing those cardboard cutouts, isn't it? Usually it just, uh, comes from that dark hallway we came from. Now, is it gonna chase me until the next safe room, or until there's no more ink? Because as, cause as I said a bit earlier, that is the ink monster. Jeez. No, I mean, that does sound nice, but uh, I can't really have one right now, since I'm more- And that was a loop back around. Ugh. Okay, so... Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Run for your life, otherwise it's gonna slice you into pieces. Please tell me it's the left path. Please tell me it's the left path. No, it ain't. Uh, yeah, just attack me, monster. Run. 
You see, I'm not getting that scared by this stuff. Mainly because I've already encountered it in the original game. Now those piles of ink is where it comes from, but those same piles of ink slow you down. Now if some of them are on corners, then I'm pretty sure uh, if you go hug the wall and then turn the corner, then uh, it will not slow you down that much. Oh, jeez. Yeah, it's just gonna chase me until the next save room. Or until the creepy music stops. Or until we see a brain and a canister. So let's continue through and just hope that we don't get killed by anything else soon. This game for a horror game is actually pretty slow. And whenever you hear music that's not just like the standard ambience music, then that means you gotta start running immediately. Oh, that's not at all ominous. But hey, we're close to the hundredth door. Or room. You know, I like, don't understand, like, these, uh, maze rooms. Like, sure, they want, they want you to use your health bar instead of just thinking, oh no, if I get slashed once, then I'm dead. Sure, there are some enemies that do that from what I've read from the uh, specimen information devices, but uh, yeah. Okay, 20 more rooms to go. That might sound like a lot, but knowing as these rooms are just like mostly a single hallway, it's not actually. See, that one could have actually scared me. And that was the one type of cardboard cutout that didn't scare me in the base game. At least notably without, uh, seeing me. <gasps> yes, the arcade cabinets. Uh, Miss Spook, Pac-Man. Uh, Mall of the Spook. Spooky Cart and Out of Order. Let's start with Mrs. Spook. I control Spooky. Oh, so the goal of it was to kill Pac-Man. Uh, mold the Spook. Uh, so all we gotta do is stab. Oh yeah, proceed to stab. Got it, so the health meter is like a bloodlust. You have to kill to be able to continue playing. Yeah, I'm just gonna start spamming E. I mean, if I were to find an auto clicker, I could probably just tell it to click E, but then where's the fun in that? Yeah, I'm gonna end up dying because these are gonna get pretty close together. It feels like actually playing an arcade machine. How challenging it is. Boop, boop. And maybe I should put like an epilepsy warning. Oh, bloody. Oh, 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 oh. 
Yeah. And as I'm a gamer, I have to go with zero. You know, because I'm a gamer. Spooky, 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 spooky. Oh. At the bottom, at the bottom of it is only. Uh, no. How do I escape? How do I escape? Uh... Oh wait, I escaped. Spooky card. Oh, wait, no. Let's escape. Let's escape the tether of it. Okay, I'm gonna get out of here before, uh... Yeah. Let's just continue to the next save point. longer I can go on. I haven't seen any of my previous notes, so that means that either I'm getting somewhere or someone is taking them. Well, I haven't been taking them, I can't. And plus, if I were taking them, that means they're in here with me. Oh, it's this type of room. Ding. Donk. So you need to go ding. Ding. Donk. So ding. Ding, 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 dog, ding, 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 ding. Good. Now we can escape. Hmm? Oh. Huh. Okay, I can go backwards. Ooh, this is Spooky's room, yeah? Spooky should appear, yeah? Or not? Aw. I was kinda hoping Spooky would appear. Since that's the only good thing in this hellhole. Oh, not again! Okay, now we're gonna get chased until the last room, until the save point. Or we're gonna get chased into the safe room, then back out. Well, we're gonna have to save in the save room, believe it or not. But, you get what I mean. Okay, never go in the direction the goop is in. And as I say that, I run to the goop. Oh. Yeah, it's here. And that's not a note. Okay, get in. This is the save room. Better ingredients, better pasta, that's the power of Home Depot. Except spelt wrong. Okay, saved. So I think that'll be it for this video. Have a good rest of your day or night. Ooh, cat in the box. Uh, or whenever you're watching this, cat gamer out.